Joseph Loschmidt, a pioneer of 19th century physics and chemistry, deserves to be better known in the English-speaking world. Born in uh, 15 um, March 1821 in a small village near Karlovy Vary in what is now the Czech Republic, Loschmidt was the son of a poor Bohemian farmer. In 1870, Loschmidt published the most accurate measurements yet of the interdiffusion of two gaseous species in a tube. The top and bottom halves are initially maintained at different compositions. At time t is zero, the partition at uh, z is zero is removed and interdiffusion of the uh, gaseous mixture takes place. The uh, average compositions in the top and bottom compartments are monitored as a function of time. The uh, Loschmidt experiments allows the accurate determination of the diffusivities for binary gas mixtures. My uh, talk today is on interdiffusion of ternary mixtures in the Loschmidt tube. For, detailed, for details of the analysis of the Loschmidt experiments, consult the uh, supplementary uh, material accompanying my paper published in Chemical Engineering Science in 2019. Watch also my uh, presentations, diffusion in gas, gas mixtures and uh, uphill diffusion on my uh, YouTube channel. In a paper published in AICHE Journal in 1967, Arnold and Tour reported experimental data on transient equilibration of a ternary gas mixture consisting of components methane, argon, and hydrogen in a Loschmidt tube of a diameter 12.7 millimeters. The uh, Distance from zero to delta is 0 0.406 meters. The uh, top half of the tube has a composition as indicated here, contains a mixture of argon and hydrogen, no methane. In the bottom half of the uh, Loschmidt tube, we have a binary mixture of methane and argon with no hydrogen. The, uh, if we look at the composition differences between the uh, top and um, bottom halves of the uh, Loschmidt tube, for methane, the uh, difference in the mole fractions is uh, minus 0 0.515. For argon, it's uh, close to zero, 0 0.024. For hydrogen, the uh, Composition difference is uh, plus 0.491. The uh, driving force for argon is significantly lower than that of its uh, partner species. The equilibration of um, methane, indicated by the uh, green squares for the uh, Top compartment, the uh, open squares for the bottom compartment, the equilibration trajectories are normal because the, the higher concentration decreases, the lower composition increases till um, equilibration is achieved. Similarly, for hydrogen, the uh, equilibration trajectory shown by the uh, blue triangles for the uh, top compartment and uh, the open triangles for the bottom compartment also follow a trajectory that is normal in its behavior and uh, the two compositions approach one another 
with progression of time. However, the transient equilibration of uh, argon shows an overshoot in the uh, top compartment and an undershoot in the uh, bottom compartment. In order to understand the overshoot and undershoot in the uh, equilibration trajectories of uh, argon, we need to uh, examine ternary gas diffusion in more detail. And for this purpose, we use the uh, Maxwell uh, Stefan diffusion formulation to uh, model ternary gas diffusion and uh, determine the equilibration trajectories for methane, argon, and hydrogen. We now consider diffusion in ternary gas mixtures, and the objective is to demonstrate the possibility of uphill diffusion in uh, such systems. We begin by formulating the Maxwell-Stefan equations to describe the diffusion in ternary gas mixtures. The uh, force exerted per mole of species 1 it ba is balanced by the friction species 1 experiences because of uh, relative motion with respect to species 2 and relative motion with respect to species 3. Similarly, the force acting per mole of species 2 is balanced by the friction species 2 experiences in moving relative to species 1 and the friction it experiences with species 3 in uh, view of the uh, velocity differences between species 2 and species 3. In view of the uh, gibbs duhem constraint, only two of the driving forces are independent and there are only two equations to consider. There are three independent maxwell stefan diffusivities, D12, D13, and D23. These represent, respectively, the uh, inverse of the drag between 1 and 2, inverse of the drag between 1 and 3, and inverse of the drag between 2 and 3. D21 equals D12 as a result of the Onsaga reciprocal relations. In setting up these equations, we ignore three body collisions, that is the assumption normally made in the development of the kinetic theory of gases. The uh, Maxwell Stefan diffusivities, D12, D13, and D23, are all independent of composition for ideal gas mixtures, and these can be determined with very good accuracy using the kinetic gas theory. An important advantage of uh, the use of the Maxwell-Stefan formulation, say in comparison with the Onsaga formulation, is that the uh, diffusivities D12, D13 and D23 are independent of the choice of the reference frame because these diffusivities are defined in terms of differences in the diffusion velocities, one with respect to two, one with respect to three, and two with respect to three. The constraint imposed by the second law of thermodynamics 
demands that these maxwell stefan divisibilities be positive definite the uh, maxwell stefan equations for the ternary gas mixture can be rewritten in this form using two dimensional matrix notation the column matrix J1, J2 represent the diffusion fluxes and the column matrix of mole fraction gradients are indicated here. The constant of proportionality is the matrix of thick diffusivities and the elements of this matrix can be determined explicitly in terms of the three Maxwell Stefan diffusivities D12, D13, and D23 that are calculable from the kinetic gas theory. Note in general that since these diffusivities are not equal to one another, the Cross coefficients d12 and d21 are generally non-zero. The the sign of these cross coefficients depends on how we number the species one, two, and three. With a different different numbering scheme, the uh, signs of these cross coefficients may change. For the uh, ternary gas mixture of methane component 1, argon component 2, hydrogen component 3, the uh, maxwell stefan diffusivities of the three binary pairs D12, D13 and D23 can be determined from the uh, kinetic gas theory to a high degree of accuracy. The values are provided here. We note that the um, maxwell stefan diffusivity for the 1-3 pair and 2-3 pair are significantly higher than the maxwell stefan diffusivity for the 1-2 pair. This is because uh, component 3 is hydrogen, the smallest of the uh, three gaseous species. At the average composition in the uh, Low Schmidt experiments of uh, Arnold and Tour, at the uh, final equilibration um, scenario, the compositions are for component one, the mole fraction of 0 0.2575, for component two, argon, it's 0.497, component three, hydrogen, the average composition at final equilibration is 0.2455. From the expressions derived in the uh, previous slide, we determine the uh, thick diffusivity matrix and the values are provided uh, here. And we note that the uh, off diagonal elements are significantly large in relation to the uh, diagonal elements. Particularly noteworthy is uh, the uh, D21 element here, because component two is uh, argon. We note that um, if we consider the flux expressions for components one and two, the off diagonal elements D21 is significantly large and therefore even if there is no driving force for argon the uh, off diagonal elements d21 will contribute to the flux of um, species 2 because d21 is multiplied by the driving force of component 1 and the driving force of component 1 is large in magnitude Therefore, we may experience uphill diffusion for argon 
which is component two. Let us see if that is uh, borne out in the uh, calculations. The uh, transient composition profiles for components one, two, and three in the uh, Lo Schmidt tube can be uh, obtained uh, analytically by uh, solving the uh, partial differential equations describing um, the interdiffusion process. The expressions are provided here for the dimensionless distance eta, which is z divided by delta, and uh, the mole fraction of component 1 for position eta at time t is uh, given by this uh, expression. In this, the lambda 1 and lambda 2 are eigenvalues of the Fick diffusivity matrix. As an example, at a time of 0 0.05 hours from the start of the um, equilibration process, the uh, composition trajectories of methane, shown in the, by the red lines, hydrogen, shown by the uh, green line, and argon, shown by the blue line, are calculated using this uh, analytic expression. We note the, uh, that the argon profile shows both an uh, overshoot and an undershoot in its uh, transient development. From this expression, the uh, integral average mole fractions in the top and bottom compartments may be determined. And uh, for the uh, bottom compartment, the expression is uh, given by this uh, equation here. And uh, the uh, profiles calculated from the solution of the uh, from this expression are that are shown by the continuous solid lines these are in excellent agreement with the experimental data of Arnold and Tour in particular the overshoot in the argon concentration and undershoot uh, of the argon concentration in the bottom half of the Loschmidt experiments are well represented. The uh, spatially averaged compositions in the top and bottom compartments in the uh, experiments conducted by Arnold and Tour are plotted here in composition space the green squares are for the uh, top compartment. The uh, red circles are for the bottom compartment. We note that the uh, equilibration trajectory in composition space follows a serpentine of route. The continuous lines here, red for bottom compartment, green continuous line for the uh, top compartment are the solutions of the maxwell stefan equations as uh, described in the previous slide for the uh, based on the analytic solutions for the uh, differential equations describing uh, transient diffusion if the uh, coupling effects are ignored and the flux of each of the three components is assumed to be proportional to its own driving force with a constant effective thick diffusivity, the equilibration trajectories of each of the three components must follow this dashed line indicated in black 
and in such case no overshoot or undershoot in the uh, equilibration trajectory will be experienced. The following of a serpentine equilibration pass is uh, a signature of uphill diffusion. This is a photograph uh, showing uh, the influx and efflux of passengers from a Mumbai a local train that has uh, just stopped at Dada station. We have uh, influx of passengers who want to get into the train and we have efflux of passengers who want to get out of this train because Dada is their final destination. Any passenger who is stationary and wants to remain in the train may be dragged out due to the drag exerted by the passengers leaving the train. So we could have uphill transport of reluctant passengers who want to remain on the train due to interspecies drag.